Lawmakers in Annapolis are considering a bill that would suspend public school coaches if they play athletes with concussions. The legislation is prompted by growing concern about brain injuries suffered by athletes who play while they're injured. When I played football in college, if you uh, got hit in the head, they used to refer to it as getting your bell rung and they'd take an ammonia tablet and break in front of your nose and they'd send you back into the game. House Speaker Michael Bush is talking about how times have changed since his days as a football player and coach. This legislative session, a new bill before the Maryland General Assembly would penalize youth coaches who allow players with concussions to return to the field. Delegate Mark Chang is sponsoring the measure. Yeah, the first one, the first time they do it, it'd be a suspension from uh, that season, and then a second penalty would be a, a suspension from that season and then the additional season, the next season for, uh, following after, and the third one would be a, 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 a terminal suspension. The issue garnered national attention after the movie Concussion was released last summer. I think I found a disease that no one has ever seen before. They use me hit as a weapon. Those supporting the measure include the Maryland PTA and the state chapter of the American Academy of Pediatrics. Opposed are school superintendents and boards of education. Coaches we interviewed had mixed reactions. We have EMTs at the game. I know we're going to be, you know, getting full-time trainers here in the county. We're all making very good, uh, taking very good steps, the positive steps to make sure that the kids' safety is paramount. I think it's a little bit crazy. I think maybe as the coaches and the um, the athletic trainers should be piggybacking on that together. You know, I can totally understand it if a coach overrides um, what the, the medical professionals are telling them what to do kind of thing. But um, I'm not sure how it's going to work with putting a coach in a position where they may not be sure. Um, and then after the fact, a kid coming back and saying, well, I did, and then the coach getting in trouble for it. Meantime, Speaker Bush says the issue is timely and worthy of discussion. The State Board of Education ought to get a group of physicians, athletic trainers, uh, and take the medical science that's available and set protocols that have to be implemented by all the high schools in the state of Maryland. Uh, so I think there ought to be a, a, a set of standards uh, that every coach should follow, and of course if the coach does not follow them, you know, he's in jeopardy of losing his job. Now, the new legislation follows a 2011 Maryland law that requires a young athlete to be medically cleared before returning to the field. The current bill is before the House and Ways, I'm sorry, House Ways and Means Committee. 